equations of motion for freely falling bodies. So we do have the equations of motion for the bodies that are in motion on the earth. The same equations hold good but in place of A that is acceleration we give G for freely falling body. So the general equations of motion and for a free fall bodies here if it is V is equal to U plus A T here it will be V is U plus G T and if S is U T plus half A T square here it is H is equal to because it is falling we always measure the height U T plus half G T square and it is V square minus U square is equal to 2 A S and under free fall we say V square minus U square is 2 G S. Now we have two situations to remember. One is the body falling downward and the other is body being thrown up. So if you see a figure, a stone is falling downward and a stone is being thrown up. How do we compare these two situations? The height is the same. Height is h and in this case it is dropped and in this case it is thrown up. So when a body is falling freely that is when it is being dropped we understand that the initial velocity is zero and the acceleration due to gravity by the gravitational force is plus 9.8 meter per second square because g is positive. When it is being thrown up the final velocity v is zero and g becomes negative because it is thrown up with certain velocity it keeps decreasing and becomes zero. So g becomes negative minus 9.8 meter per second square whereas in the dropped case it comes down and then reaches certain velocity so the acceleration increases. Now with this let us always remember these facts when it is vertically upward what happens and vertically downward what happens for the freely falling body. These are very important for doing calculations on the problems. In the vertically upward, G is negative and the value is minus 9.8 meter per second square and vertically downward that is free fall, G is positive which is plus 9.8 meter per second square. And the initial velocity that is U in vertically upward whereas final velocity in a vertically upward situation final velocity is zero whereas in vertically downward situation the initial velocity u is zero so it keeps increasing to a certain value v that is why the acceleration is positive in this case but the time taken for the stone to reach the ground from a height of h and for it when it is thrown up to reach the height of h is the same. The time taken in both cases is same because the height is the same. So the time taken in both cases is the same value provided the height is the same. So in this example we have taken it's the same for the same height. So we understand that when a stone is dropped from a height of h if it takes time t and when a stone is thrown up to a height of h from the ground it takes time the same time t. And also we know how 
the acceleration due to gravity changes its sign and what happens to its initial and final velocities in both the cases. And this is a very important observations which need to be remembered for calculating the problems.